hello guys and welcome and this is Mercedes AMG GTR so this is the track focused version of the Mercedes AMG GT we have also the Pro which I shot two Pros on my channel so you can check them out and also the green the GTR so here we can see LED high performance lights and these huge intakes for the hair and this gorgeous paint is the Zyno Selenite Grey Magno. We have also Pallet Sport Cup 2 tires with matte black wheels and also carbon ceramic brakes. I didn't have a lot of time to shoot a video of this car, but I still wanted to show you this car because it's special and I didn't shot this paint. And also this car features a track package which consists of uh, several things. And also guys, like this video, comment down below which is your favorite paint on the GTR. And also don't forget to subscribe to see uh, plenty more videos on this channel. So this rear fixed wing can be also in carbon fiber, but here is in gloss black. We can see also a huge diffuser and also this yellow R logo with the GT and also this huge diffuser with exhaust. So it has a central exhaust and also exhaust on the sides. So it is a special concept of the exhaust. So really horizontal lights, really, really looks amazing this car. And with every iteration, I think it looks better. So we have also a night package and carbon fiber roof. And also we can see the camera and the mirror and these vents on the hood. Really this, uh, this Magno paint reflects the light uh, unlike anything else, it's really really gorgeous. We can see MG specific grill at the front and really this uh, has a really great road presence and the width of this is really really huge. So let's check out the heart of this vehicle, the engine and also this is a front mid-engine vehicle. So the engine sits behind the front axle towards to the cabin and that's uh, obviously better for every performance reason. So let's check out this engine. This is 4.0 liter V8 hot V engine and this is handcrafted by one man. You can see the engine stats on the screen and really this is a mid engine as you can see it sits behind the front axle. We have also the name which uh, of the person which handcrafted this engine and in this case it is a woman so also we can see the cooling uh, with the AMG logo for the engine which is underneath the hood so it is like a hidden scoop so really really great great car now let's take a look at the interior let's jump in the vehicle you really sit low in this car so it has great feeling Alright, so let's check out the interior of this vehicle. So you have these mirrors, which are retractable. And they are on the level of my head. So they have like a super sport feeling for sure. Then the door panels, you have this very nice handle, which is like a aluminium, quite heavy. Then we can lock the car, unlock it. You have a Burmester speaker. And this is the handle and you have here the decor it's not carbon it could be carbon if you spec it uh, here is a uh, gloss black and also you have a uh, controls for the windows you can uh, set the mirrors and you can fold them and set each mirror individually and then you have this like a pouch here which is like for the storage but um, you can put here only like a small things so I don't know some something small and here you have a controls for the lights so these are the fog lights here you can put the parking lights on uh, one side these are the parking lights uh, automatic lights and these are the high beams I mean the, the normal uh, headlights uh, high performance and here you can release the parking brake and open the boot space the boot lid so you release this only when you are towed or something like that, so not in uh, in normal case. Here you have a vent, so this is adjustable, you can close it or open it. And you can move it around, so that's basically it. Here you have uh, some vent also, and here is a speaker, 
this dashboard is nice uh, leather, uh, Napa leather, very soft and high quality. You have the stitching, which is like a silver, and the steering wheel, uh, which is the new style steering wheel in the facelift GTR and all GT models. So you have the new digital instrument panel here also, which is the 12.3 inch screen. And you have also this screen, which is 12.3 inch, and it, this is a command system. So with the steering wheel, if we turn on the ignition, so this is the command system, and you can see in the reflection the bucket seats, but I will show you them later. So with this a new style steering wheel, you can operate with this touch area. Let me lower the AC. So with this touch area you can control the instrument panel and with this part you can control the command system. And you have also these hotkeys here. So with this like a control hotkey with display you can turn it and change the dynamic select your driving style. And here you can change some performance things. So for example you can have an exhaust here and you can press this button and if you press here on the display it will change what is here on the display but when you press here on the button then you change the setting of the thing which you select here so this is very good and very easy to do and you can drive and do it like that with one hand even so this is very easy and very good. I really like this. Some people say this is like a cheap plastic. I've seen this, but I don't know. It's, it's normal plastic. <laughs> it's not like, uh, I don't know. It's not like cheap to touch, so you, I can show you from behind. Hopefully you can see. Where is it? Normal plastic. I don't know. Should be. It can be like a soft plastic because this is like a button, so Yes, and if you click it, it has like a premium sound. So, nothing cheap here. Feels everything like normal plastic, so yeah. Just my uh, point of view for this. You have also these flappy pedals, which have like a mechanical, like a brutal sound. So this is very good. You have this uh, silver part on the 12 o'clock. So all in all, a very nice steering wheel. You have airbag here and this is a horn. I'm not gonna press it because I'm in the showroom. And you have here AMG logo. The steering wheel is flat and also flat on the sides. So yeah, you have more leg, leg room here and yeah, looks better. Looks more like a, a racing steering wheel. So these are the indicators for the one side, second side. Windshield wipers, if you press, I'm not gonna do that. And here, sometimes at Mercedes, here is um, like a toggle for the transmission. But here in the GT models, it's here actually. So that's that. And if you press it like here, you can change the drives. And if you press up, you can also change. So that's that. If you press here, you have parking. And also, it's switching off but I will show you that in detail later. This is the new command system. Here the decor is a carbon and you can move this by hand. This is for the traction control. You can uh, set this to a lot of different like settings, levels. You have uh, buttons for the AC, thermatronic unit. Also this is like a matte carbon fiber. Here you have a storage space for two cup holders and 12 volt socket and also USB-A port. Okay, and here the buttons are similar. Actually, this is the same as here. So if I press it here, you can see it's changing also here. So that's the, this is the same. So we can control it and change from the steering wheel or here from this. If you press this button like this, 
then you can change it. And here, if you don't have this uh, button here, then you can press here and it will change. So you cannot change what is here, it will be always the gearbox here. Here it will be always the AMG, the right control. So if you can see, you can have three settings. And this is the traction control. You need to hold this to turn it off. Here you have a control volume for the sound. Out to start stop button. This is the spoiler which is underneath the vehicle for added downforce. And here we have an exhaust button which is on and off but with a new name powerful and balanced. And this is like a you can turn this and then control the command system. So here is also very nice uh, MG Napa leather. This is Dynamica or Alcantara we can say. And here you have a storage space in a glove box. You can close it and lock it if you want. And here you have a very nice armrest with the Affalterbach logo. So Affalterbach is the home of the AMG. You have AMG logo here. And this is like an engine symbols. And this apple tree is actually the coat of arms of the Affalterbach city. But only half. So half of Alterbach and half the engines. Because they handcraft the engines there. So that's very cool if you didn't know that. If you press the button here, it will open the armrest. And if your battery key fob dies, you need to put it here basically. Like this. And you can then start the car with the button. Here you have two. Uh, USB-A ports, SD card, and it is pretty deep, not super deep, but I don't know, like like this deep. You can put a bottle here or a few things. It's quite a good storage space. Okay, so you can see here AMG floor mats and also this speaker. It's also in the driver's zone, as you can see there. And you can see here also AMG logo. And the pedals have nice aluminium finish and they have like a rubbers on the pedals. So they actually are very like good, not slippery. So this is, this is very good. And yeah, the pedals feel very nice. Uh, the floor mat has also like a lining which is uh, on the edge and it is in the silver color and you have also the net here so passenger can put some things here the door is the same as the driver's door and here if you take a look at these seats this car has an AMG track package which adds these uh, bucket seats which has exclusive AMG Napa leather and Dynamica and I have to tell you I was thinking before I tried to sit in them that they would be like uncomfortable. No way that this could be comfortable, but actually it is comfortable because the padding is, uh, as you can see, it's pretty thick, so it's uh, comfortable here. Also this is like a, you can press here and it is not a, like hard material, it's nice padding here. So I think this is a good option. And you can, if, if I sit in the seat, then I can definitely uh, feel here that my shoulders are supported. So this is very good in the corners. If I'm driving, then you don't like uh, move in the seat so much. So if I would be deciding if I have to add this track package, so I would definitely add it because this is a great package, I think. These seats are just amazing and you, you can see how deep it is here. So you are really like uh, in the seat very nicely and you don't move uh, pretty much uh, at all in the seat. And the seating and the seat belt here is very nice red seat belt. So it looks just fantastic. Very nice and sporty. And you have a uh, stitching here, the AMG stitching logo, which adds a nice detail 
to the seats. So with the track package, uh, obviously automatically comes this roll cage, which is a, like a half roll cage, and it is inspired by the motorsport, and it adds the rigidity to the car. It is fixed to the vehicle, and it could be also more safe with this uh, cage. So I think this is really nice, and if you have a, and if you have this AMG track package, then you can also fit fix here the five point harnesses and uh, through these holes you can have a like a full racing harness but for everyday drive this is probably easier but you can put it here and on occasion if you go on a nice drive you can put it and it would feel more special these seats are from carbon fiber so they are lightweight as well so they lower the overall weight of the vehicle and also they are uh, hollow inside, so they say weight and add more uh, shoulder support and overall more body support. So they are very good seats. So if you take a look here, you have a airbag and the roof is from carbon fiber as well. So it uh, lowers the center of the gravity. Here you have a brushed like a leather on the ceiling. And you have the sun visor here with the cosmetic mirror. Hello, and you have the light here. If you open it, it will light up. So this is basic, basic things. Here you have a, a light buttons, and you would have here like panoramic. But this car doesn't have a panoramic, obviously, for the weight saving and lower the center of the of the gravity. If you press here, it will light up. And here you have a button for the parktronic and parktronic cameras. Uh, this is the hazard lights and turn off the parking sensors. Uh, these seats are not heated, so you can't have a heated seats with these bucket seats. So also that's a thing to decide. If you live like in a hot country, you don't care. But also, uh, I don't know if you would drive this car in the snow. So yeah, that's also things to consider. Okay, so now I want to show you what you can change in this uh, digital instrument panel. So you can operate it with this button home and with this like a swiping button. So this is very nice and easy to control. So if we go from the basics, you can select the, the design of this display. So you can have it like this in a super sport or sport, which is two dials. And you can change this one, what you have here. And then you can have a classic, as you can see the response is very fast. And you can also change in the classic what you have on the right uh, dial. So classic and sport in, a, in like a concept are the same, just sport looks more sporty. It has like a gray and yellow AMG colors. And you can showcase on the right instrument cluster, you can have it on the RPMs or you can have RPMs and G-force meter in the middle you can have a boost and kilowatts Newton meters MG track pace you can have the temperature of the gearbox engine and uh, tire pressure then uh, trip settings and the navigation so in Super Sport which is my favorite you can select what you see on each side and in the middle you have like a ref counter so if we go here in the trip you can see the odometer and the range of this vehicle stats from the start and from reset if you put performance on the left side then you would see here uh, the engine setting, the gearbox, the AMG dynamics, adjustable suspension, the exhaust, AMG exhaust, also the traction control. And on the top you can see the boost minimum maximum. Assistance, you would, hear, you would see here the Dextronic and also the attention assist. With Dextronic you can set 
how long you should be or how short to the vehicle in front of you. So this is a very good system and then the vehicle will follow the vehicle in front of you on the distance which you will set.